Welcome to my channel. Let's make something very simple and interesting. Okay, we're gonna make a hairbrush. Now this is gonna be very easy and fun to learn. I assume this video is short or maybe long. Well, I don't know. Let's see how it does. Let's use a default cube, or maybe I'm gonna use this as a handle. Okay, let's make the what do you call that? The handle first, the body, and we make the hair later. I'm gonna scale this. Press N. I'm gonna press one. I'm gonna scale this down. This is gonna be the handle. I'm gonna press seven. Scale that to the X. That's gonna be our handle there. And this one, oh, I'm gonna go to face select there. I'm gonna extrude, scale to the Y. I don't wanna make it big though. Come go to, to the X here. I don't wanna make it longer, but well, that's up to you if you wanna make it longer. And I'm gonna extrude it again and scale to the y-axis. And let's make this thing rounder. Scale to the y. And this one too. Scale to the y. Now it looks rounder. Okay. Now let's see what else do we need. Hmm. Yes, the handle. Let's make this handle a little bit. Well, something. I'm gonna scale this down to the Z, I believe. This is how I make mine. So, well, you can make uh, whatever you like, okay? Your liking, your style. And I'm gonna duplicate this face here. Shift D to duplicate. I'll press 7. I think it's better if I scale it to the white a little bit. But then scale to the X a little bit. Okay, now let's make these two separate objects. Press, make sure in edit mode to select all and press P. You can use selection or loose path, but not the material. Both material is actually the color, okay? If you want to be easy, use the loose part. And should be good to go. Yep, separate it. And now let's go to edit mode. Select this, uh, well, this one here, the plane. This is where we're going to make the brush, okay? The brush, the hair, whatever. Let's subdivide those. Subdivide as many as you want. You can you, you don't have to go something subdivide as that right click right click. Okay, you can just go over here and you choose number of cuts. Oh, something there. Doesn't matter how many cuts you want. That's completely up to you. Okay, but let's not make that first. And control Z those. Now let's go to here. Add few look cut first, and I'm gonna add this. So it has that perfect square there. Okay. And now we can subdivide them. Increase the cuts. Nope, not that one. Oh, close that. Okay. Now we can subdivide them all into some tiny parts. Increase whatever you like. Your numbers, your choice. Okay. And let's press I. Twice, okay. But before we do that, oh, for Z, I'm gonna see if I have doubles. Okay, before you press double I and it's true there, you must apply your scale first because you have scale this. If you know what I mean, go to the item here, you see the diamond, the, this one, the scale is, has, been, has been changed. Okay, so let's apply this. Control A, apply the scale, and you should be written to one. Okay, and now press double I, and now you can press the I and I twice, and it should be looks fine and works normally. Okay, extrude there to the Z. It's up to you how long you want, and make sure this one individual origin. Okay, the what do you call it? The the transform pivot point scale, and scale. I'm gonna make it the round stuff there. Extrude to the Z. Scale. This is going to be the what you call the ball stuff there. The Z. And let's do it again. And scale. Don't need to make it round or something because you're going to subdivision surfaces later. I'm going to press one and grab that here. I don't mind if it's overlapping a little. And let's see. There you have eyes. You just have your brush there. Simple to make, right? 
and let's see if I, uh, I if I can use the subdivision surface. Mm -hmm. Set the shape a little bit weird. And increase it to two. If we increase it to three, that's going to be very, quite heavy. But we can do increase to three later. So I'm going to increase to two first. And this one, let's go to Z. I'm going to scale this a little. Let's scale it to the Y. So it fits with the brush here. Okay. Press one. Let me see if it's okay if it's overlapping a little. Okay. We got something like that. And now this one is all. Uh, it works fine. Let's try this one. Can press Control Two, and you should apply the subdivision surface there. Hmm. Yep, that looks quite good. You don't have to increase it to three though. So I'm gonna shade smooth this. Oh, this one first. I'm gonna increase it to three because I want this to be smooth. Again, no problem. There's no problem there. Let's not apply it first. This one. Let's head smooth. Let's see if there's any problem. Well, everything works fine and well. And we can apply them, but let's apply them later. Okay. Now let's go to shading. We're gonna shade our uh what our brush here. This one, whatever you like, guys. Whatever you like. Just choose anything. Oh, I think these two are two now because i've duplicated these two so it's one material let's press x that so these two are separated and this one let's x that we can can make a new material press new go to here that's gonna be well that's quite good but if you if you want you can use the color ram but before you apply any color ram you must apply the well, the subdivision surface, okay? Because if you use the color first and then you apply the subdivision surface, there's a little bit different. It changes a little bit, okay? So let's apply it first. Control A to apply. Make sure in object mode. Control A or just press here. Control A, hit apply. Let's see the face there. The face looks quite good and not quite disturbing as well. And now let's we can use the texture. Whatever you like. I'm going to use... Maybe Musgrave. Let's try Musgrave. Okay. I want it to be look cool. And I'm gonna use a color ramp. Okay, go over there. Height to the fact. Color to the base color. Uh, that's quite weird, but I want to be yellow. Black part, I think the white part. It's gonna be the yellow. And this one I'm gonna make it also this one but with more light something like that okay. closer if you can see the shape a little bit but i think i'm gonna adjust the color a little bit again maybe a little bit yeah like that would you oh, increase the scale if you want to see the effect even more yep i want more orange the detail increase dimension well you can adjust this whatever you're liking guys i'm gonna go decrease the dimension a little bit uh, something like zero yeah okay and now we got something over there and i don't think i don't i need to change it if you want to add another color you can do that too whatever color you want i'm gonna go with blue and you had that mix of blue there was something okay add that and you got that whoa very cool looking there which doesn't even make sense i'm gonna change the blue to uh that's even weirder but i quite like it yeah that's what my comb look like uh, i'm gonna leave it like that okay <laughs> and let's use this one the well the hair strain Press new to add new color. Depends on you if you want to add the texture of it or not. But for me, I'm not going to add anything on it. I'm just going to add a bump later. Okay. The base color, I'm going to go with black because most of them are black. Most I don't need specular. I'm going to go to zero. But I'm going to increase the specular a little bit. Okay. What I don't need is the roughness. That is way too shiny. I'm going to go with that. Okay. 
got a nice comb there. I think the black and white like uh, doesn't seem to be match with the color. So I'm gonna delete this one. So I'm just press this one, push this one, and press the minus there. We got that back, and I'm gonna decrease the color a little bit. Also, this one, I'm gonna decrease. Okay, I think that's way too similar. Let's increase it a little bit. And the specular, well, it's up to you if you want. I don't need it because it's a wood. Hmm, quite satisfying, and I quite like it. Even though it's overlapping like this, it doesn't matter actually. If you want to add few detail, okay. Let's let's talk. Let's add some no, some bump. Got the vector, the bump. Go to here to the normal. Shift A to add what you want next to, whatever you like. Okay, I'm gonna use the noise. Height, fact to the height. Okay. Wow, it's very. Look at that. You have so many dendrops there. I'm gonna scale whatever until you got something you're liking. The roughness. I don't want it to be like. I want it the roughness to be like that. Like hair strain. And the most important part is the strain. Okay. Decrease the strain until you got something that you're liking. Increase my strain. See? Yep, that looks good. So that's it, guys. That's how you make a simple uh, hair comb or brush. Very cool, right? So that's how I made it. You can make it whatever style you like. Who knows who, who, who might, what you might discover, okay? So, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the next tutorial tomorrow. Bye now.